Hello everybody and welcome back to FTL. We are flying the Kruos ship and the first couple of sectors went pretty well. We did get our crew teleporter and another weapon. Uh, also, we got a lot of goodies we can sell for extra scrap, so it's been a pretty good first couple of sectors. Let's see if we can snowball off of that. We're going to go to the Zoltan controlled sector. I'd love to get another crew member because right now uh, we're a little bit threadbare back on the ship. Somebody else getting experience operating the weapon system, for example, would be very beneficial to me right now. But in the meantime, at least having a boarding crew getting that extra scrap could be pretty fantastic. Ah, uh, let's see. Traveling vessel you'll submit. Mm, nah, we're gonna attack you. I, I I don't I don't feel like it. I just do not feel like uh, waiting for your orders. Now we are gonna take Yaws, who's really good with the weapon system, and bring him back down over here. We're not gonna be able to do any um, teleporting for a little bit, so we might as well just charge up our weapons faster. I don't think he can actually do much of anything to me. His weapons seem rather inconsequential. In fact, I'm almost positive he can't pierce through. So we're safe for a lot of this. I just want to get these guys out of here. All right, now now we should send them back to their stations because we can actually pierce through their shields now. They have a cloning bay. I cannot allow them to keep a cloning bay because obviously then they'll just keep coming back and, well, nothing good happens for me in that case, does it? Uh, let's try taking out your shields real quick, if possible. Yeah, we missed. Fine, whatever, I don't care. Go to the cloning bay. We're gonna sabotage that sucker. We're gonna wait here until these guys are good and done. Now, the good news is the Zoltans are terrible fighters. So, they'll be pretty quick to die. And as long as they have no cloning bay, who cares, right? I think so. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here. Go ahead, take your pot shots. Dude, I don't even care. Shoot me. Shoot me again. See how well that goes for you. We're gonna go to the oxygen room next. Yeah, you can go ahead and try to run, but I'm not going to let you. Of course, these guys do explode. I forget that about the Zoltan. They're missiles. No, not missiles. Bombs. They're living bombs of energy. 33 scrap. See, this is why I like this. It works well. And because we have that fantastic reconstructive teleport, they get right back up to full health. This is such an amazingly good pickup. I just cannot complain. So, with this much extra scrap, we should probably buy some... Let's see. We need, like, one more weapon slot is what we need. Can't afford that until we have 75. What would be involved in improving, let's say, our teleporter? Much faster cooldown. The thing about this, because we just heal up, I could quickly just bounce people in and out of the enemy ship, going to whatever room I need to for attacks of opportunity. Going to be very, very strong against the final boss and their super weapons. Potentially. So I may want to consider upgrading this after I get my weapons up and running. Of course, we do want to consider getting some more shields, too. All of those would be good, but even so. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to this location. Let's just kind of take the bottom path, I guess. Not that it really matters, but whatever. Oh, good. The Mantis are here to die. Uh, cool. Let's teleport them across to your cloning bay, since apparently everyone can clone these days. Why does everyone get cloning powers? Oh, no, a missile. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, and you launched a bomb at my doors. What do you got against my doors? Why does the AI hate doors? Oh good, my engines are down too. Yay, we did manage to destroy some of that stuff. Let's go take out his weapons. He's got way too many weapons. I don't even have a teleporter working anymore. Probably should uh, probably should fix that, yeah? Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Okay, we actually get a free crew member and some scrap. So that worked out pretty well. We took a little damage, but all in all, that was a really good pickup for us. You are going to work weapons from here on out. NG, go around and repair all the goodies. Let's bring our boys back home at full health because I love this pickup. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, this has been this is easily the best attempt I've had thus far uh, at uh, at a Kruos run in a very very long time. All right, so let's see. Um, I did want to buy the one extra power bar for my weapon system in a moment. Okay, bring you guys over here. We can go to the ship and buy that upgrade now. So I do need some more power before we're going to be able to make any of that work, but at least we've got the bars that we're looking for. I'll go ahead and turn on the cloning bay more permanently. Why not? Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's go this way. I just want to get to adjacent to as many jumps as possible. You never know if you're going to find something good. Well, thank you for the 30 extra scrap. Beautiful. Uh, let's go this way. How much do we need for reactor upgrades, by the way? Let's see, there's some refugees, we'll hail them. Uh, I don't need missiles, so I'm afraid no, I'm not gonna accept that. We could buy a reactor bar. 
No point in buying it yet until I can afford to buy at least two more. So I can turn off my cloning bay and get the weapons up and running. So we'll need, what, uh, 55 scrap or something along those lines? I don't know. There is a store nearby. Uh, how do we get... Okay, we can get to the exit if we save this jump for last. We can make two jumps and then go to a store. If there's nothing good there, then I'll upgrade the reactors and get my third weapon up and running. Uh, let's see, there's some Zoltan military vessels. I note their beam and ion weaponry take their energy shields down. That tells me absolutely nothing, but thank you for the lore. Very unhelpful. If I had learned a perk, fight Zoltan. Wow, Zoltan's better. That would have been great. 34 more scrap. How freaking lucky can we get with some of these jumps? This is amazing. I love it. Uh, let's see. What do you got to sell? Heavy laser number two. Okay. That's actually not too bad. It fires two qu shots in quick succession, each dealing two damage. So, 13 second charge time is not bad. Extra hole damage can be pretty strong. This is actually a really solid weapon. I am debating whether I like this better or worse than my halberd beam. The halberd beam has the advantage of being able to do damage to a lot of rooms at the same time, including doing two damage per room. So as long as you're hitting more than two rooms, it does more damage to the enemy ship than the heavy laser will. However, this being a laser weapon, uh, it actually can help pierce through shields better too, whereas the halberd beam cannot. So I like this weapon. It's just really expensive to get up and running. Alternatively, we have the Hole Smasher Laser, which, again, fires two shots, takes 14 seconds, and only requires two power, which is a bit more manageable. It also does extra damage. Whoa, lots of damage to systemless rooms. Look at that. Two times damage, so we could do... Okay, no, it actually does one normal damage, so it's actually just as good as a heavy laser, but requires less power. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I really like the Halberd Beam, but the ability to punch through shields is going to be very important in the late game. More burst lasers is great. <sighs> hmm. What else you got on page two? Well, you have crew members, which I would like, but I don't think I can afford that at the moment. Cloaking, of course, fantastic. Can't afford it. Well, we can definitely sell the anti-ship drone. Charge time is 17 seconds. I think we have to go for the Heavy Laser Mark II. I've enjoyed the Halberd Beam, but it takes a very long time to charge up. This will definitely help me in the last fights. Now we'll be able to technically fire off a volley of five to pierce through four lasers, whereas a halberd... Uh, sorry, four shield levels, whereas a halberd beam could not have done that. So, okay, we're going to switch over to the heavy laser. Uh, can I upgrade my ship and get the power bars I need? The answer to that appears to be yes. We will turn uh, this off and this on. There we go. We now have a third weapon. Lots of volleys are available. Okay. I think that was the right decision. It hurts my heart because I like the halberd, but this is good. All right, this rebel is polite, but we're still going to have to murder everything he has. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to your oxygen room. And let's fire off a drone. I don't want to take any missile damage from you. Whoop. Turn that off. That got a little close. I'm going to go ahead and fire the stun. And then the heavy laser. And then more lasers. There we go. No shields. Could have taken out his weapons, but this was fun. All right, see, yeah, this is where I'm going to really enjoy having all this extra power. Uh, fire off those lasers, please. Pew, pew. Okay, that got a little close. We lost our oxygen. We do not want to destroy his ship, but I'm not worried about a halberd beam. I just didn't want him to have any more of these weapons. Let's go to the med bay and make sure that no one's over here anymore. I don't want them having a med bay. If we do any more damage, you know, he might just blow up. Actually, a fire could get out of control and become a serious problem if we're not careful. All right, he wants to surrender? Not a chance. All right, come back in here, or just suffocate. I don't care. Come after me. Here they come. All right, they're going to go for a kamikaze rush, but they're going to suffocate and die. Where are you? Oh, found you. Come here. Shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, we take over the ship. There was no more oxygen. Thank you for the 27 extra scrap. 
And we'll just pull you back before anyone else blows up and dies. Thank you very much. All right, that worked out pretty nicely. Did we save our positions like this? I think we did. How's the Mantis doing? Uh, the Mantis is really, really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, but not good at breathing in uh, atmosphere-less rooms, so... Not gonna be sending the Mantis over to fight on boarding parties, unless it's an emergency. Alright, let's see. You want to trade. I'm an engineer by trade. We could improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Probably worth it, actually. Thank you for the free reactor upgrade, and now we can have our cloning bay on at the same time. All right, yeah, I don't mind having some extra power. What else should we focus on? Probably time to start focusing on either the teleporter to really commit to the strategy, or probably the shields for survivability. I'm thinking likely the shields would work best. Uh, we may have time for a couple of jumps in the nebula, but we do not have time for all the distress beacons, so we'll do two jumps. All right, there is a rock hiding from the Zoltan border police. Let's go take out your oxygen. You have missiles, again, which I don't like, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and fire off the ion stunner and then the heavy laser to make sure you don't fire off those missiles again. Thank you. Everyone's targeting my oxygen. It's like they're learning from my strategies. Don't think I like where this is going. Don't approve. Yeah, keep shooting those rocks. Rocks, for whatever reason, need to breathe. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. All right. As long as you do not get your um, weapon system back online, we're fine. You know what? We can just sit here for a bit. Let's go make sure he's not repairing his weapons. Okay, he's coming after me at full health. We may have to pull back. Wait another shot. Go. Okay, we pull out of there, but he's got no oxygen, and we've got time. He does not. We just have to sit back here and wait for a little bit longer. If it looks like he's going to repair those weapons, of course, we can just launch a huge volley. Admittedly, this is a slower way of playing the game, isn't it? I recognize that. However, you can't deny... It's effective. Let's go to the oxygen room and make sure he's not repairing that. He is not. Well, that's just stupid of you, then. Um, you're all going to have to die. I mean, yeah, you're sitting there in your med bay. I, I, I'll give you that, but... No, 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 no. We're just going to have to kill you. Come here. All right, let's go to the med bay and actually shoot them for a bit. He keeps trying to come in here and heal. I mean, there's no oxygen to begin with. He can't run anywhere for very long. We can also just destroy the med bay and make it easier. I wish you could see how much progress was left on said medbay. He repaired his oxygen! Oh, ho, 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 I definitely do not appreciate that. That was a sneaky maneuver there, sir. But I want you to die. Okay, shoot the rock. The rock blew up. Dwayne the Rock Johnson will be very sad. Actually, kind of hate the idea of shooting the rock. He's such a national treasure. All right, 29 more scrap for me. Pull you guys back. We're up to 62. Um, yeah, no, definitely cannot do the Distress Beacon. This will be in the warning zone if we do that. We can hit the Nebula, though, I think. Oh, good. Total power loss. Uh, we want to secure a fuel supply. Yes, that sounds great. Okay, well, we're not going to have any oxygen. Uh, he just teleported across to me. Silly you, you're attacking my Mantis. Now, I don't think that you have enough weapons to actually stop me. So I'm going to just destroy your weapon system. You just hack that, make sure we don't take any damage. I say that, we have no shields. The doy, obviously that's going to be a problem. Okay, let's fire the heavy laser. We'll take that out. We'll also take out his shields. There we go, we got a breach on him as well. Uh, you guys should probably get the heck out of here, because this guy is going to die. Woohoo! That was a little close. Okay, we're taking some damage. Let's do the ion stunner. Heavy laser, take out his weapon system. Okay, he's trying to run away. Well, I'll take out your engines and kill you. There you go. All right, we took a lot of hull damage there. 18 scrap. Mm. Overall, I think we've got enough that we'll be able to get out of here. We'll be able to repair, and that paid for itself pretty nicely, but still. Let's go to the exit. Definitely need to get a repair at some point. Hopefully, we get lucky with an event instead. All right, let's turn all this stuff back on. There we go. Okay, next sector. Where are we going to go? NG? Well, we have to go to an NG-controlled sector no matter what. Yeah, it's the exact same path no matter what. Only question is, do we ever want to go to the civilian sectors? I think we're actually getting to a point where I can afford to do a lot of combat. And a lot of combat means a lot of scrap. Alright, we are in NG space. These guys are usually pretty friendly. Sometimes that's not the case. Every once in a while, they're a little cranky. This place is peaceful. Ah, I don't like peace, I like death. I like marauding, like the pirates of old. Okay, more refugees. Hail them. 
Uh, pretty good trade, honestly. Yeah, I like my drone parts, but I like having 24 fuel even more. Uh, let's see. We're gonna hit a jump, then a distress, then a store. Saving up a little scrap on the off chance we find something really good. NG satellites, other places to be. It did nothing. Alright, we're gonna go to the distress beacon. What you got for me? Anything? Okay. Satellite defense system is going haywire, but we should have an ion weapon. Also an NG crew, so it doesn't matter. Let's remotely repair it instead of disabling it using the NG. We get 48 scrap out of that arrangement. Well, see, now that was just beautimous. We can make one more jump before we go to the store. Absolutely. Who knows? What if it has a cloaking module? Okay, that's a pretty good value for scrap uh, as far as fuel, but I do have a fair bit of fuel. I'm going to ignore this. I think we're actually okay at the moment. It's a good deal, but can't afford it. All right, what do you got? Well, you do have the cloaking, but unfortunately, I can't afford it. Mm. I don't need mind control. Drone control's okay. We could actually hire an NG who's good at engines. I mean, I would like to get a Zoltan as well for the power, but just immediately having someone who can get me evasion chance, that's not bad. I'm going to buy one more crew member. So this should allow me to have all of my systems manned now, even while I'm doing boarding parties, which is usually pretty good. We'll also go to the store and we're going to do some repairs. Just a little bit. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. Alright. Um, I want to save up and get a third bar of shields, and then I think we focus on improving like our teleporter. Seems reasonable enough. Okay, we can respond to a distress signal. Assistance requested. Danger present. It is a mantis, because, of course. And he is boarding me. Hmm, funny. I'm going to just make you die. Uh, let's see. You do not have weapons that scare me, so I'm not feeling threatened. We're just going to enjoy some free kills. And then we're just going to go over here. Ooh, okay. He can actually do something. Let's teleport across to his oxygen. Look, I know full well that our primary power is that we can actually... Oh, hang on. Ooh, that hurt. Our primary ability here is that we can just starve him out. That's what we're good at. Not much else. Okay, we do we do need to go ahead and repair this real quick. There's a fire, because, you know, reasons. I would actually like to take out his weapons, so we're going to. Hang on. Fire these. No more of those. Weapons, gotta go bye-bye. If we actually upgraded our sensors, we'd be a lot better at seeing where he is and what he's up to. Wouldn't be a bad advantage. Alright, he's coming to fight. We're actually about to die, so we should probably pull back. Mantis, of course, still very good fighters. Uh, let's stun and attack, say, his medical bay, if possible. And then also his shields. Okay. Just making it easier to take him out in the future. I also don't want him healing anymore. He's probably trying to repair his oxygen, but we can get back in there and destroy that pretty quickly. Actually, there apparently is a fire because things are blowing up. He decided to repair his med bay. Well, I know where you are. So let's get in there. And you know what? Ion stunner. No, wait, never mind. That won't work. Mm. Yeah, Mantis are really, really good fighters. This is a problem. And the ship is kind of breaking apart at the moment. I guess we can just drain oxygen from the rest of the rooms. Don't really want to destroy his engines. Just want to make sure he's got nothing left to breathe. But I think the med bay technically does allow him to um, heal faster than he dies. What we could do is stun it. Ah, we'll just take some damage. Hang on. We're going to get back up to full health. Oh, they died. Okay, never mind. Apparently the med bay, when it is disabled, does not protect them. We get 45 scrap, and we can now at contact the NG. Threat unresolved. Current mission imperative. Protocol 52.34. Give me goodies. Holy crap, he gives me a Pegasus missile, 10 hull points restored, and 20 scrap, and we get a quest! Alright, this fires off two missiles. We have plenty of missiles in our bay, so this actually could be great. It does have the possible effect of breaching, fire, and stun. Really good missile type if I want to disable one of my weapons in favor of the Pegasus. Alright. Hey. That worked out nicely. Um. 
I do want to get to that quest. It's going to be a little bit of a mad dash to get to that and to the exit. I think we have to go to the store now. Yeah. I think we do. Alright, we're going to go to the store. Don't think we have enough time to circle back. Scrap, ours, mind control, cloaking, blah blah blah, stealth weapons, backup DNA bank. FTL recharge booster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is worth 30 scrap. Uh, yeah, I don't... Mm. Stealth weapons of cloaking, obviously really good, but we're really focusing on other stuff. Mind control... Yeah, it could help make it even easier to win boarding parties, but... I don't think it's worth the scrap at this point. I think we're just going to go ahead and have to pass from that. Let's move on toward the quest. I have no idea what this quest is going to do, but I'm hoping it's good. Oh, our sensors are still down. Uh, let's see. We are friendly. Or we could accept their offer of surrender. Um, I'm a friendly guy. You give me 46 scrap! Okay, I don't know what's happening here. We're getting some extremely good events. Like, outrageously good events. I don't think I've ever had this much luck. Lord knows I need it, so I'm not complaining. But still... All right, let's see. We are going to go... Well, no. Let's go ahead and do our upgrades. Let's get our shield up to three bars, like so. Ba-boom. That increases my survivability a substantial margin. Go to the quest. What you got for me, Angie? There was an unresolved something. Thank you for the free hole repair and also 36 more scrap. Yes! This is glorious. You guys are fantastic. I love you. Mwah. All right, we can accept a bribe or we can attack the pirates. I can afford to attack the pirates. Let's see. You are going to try to jump over to me. Mm, okay, I guess we'll keep our crew nearby. Where are you going to go? Right next door. You sent an NG after me? Okay, I'm just going to say right now that's a really dumb play because uh, it's not like NG are that good. Uh, let's see. He's got a missile, so let's go ahead and try to knock out his weapon system. Pew pew. That didn't work. Chain laser. Got it. Vent the fire off into space. And then, we are going to teleport to your oxygen system. You have more NG and Zoltan. <laughs> Total non-threat. Non-threatening. Not worried about it. Go ahead and lose your breath. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to knock out your medbay too. Okay, that sort of worked. This is why I like having the multiple bursts. We did manage to take that out. So he's not going to be healing anytime soon, which means now we can run around and just drain oxygen from all the rooms. And he blows up, we get 28 more scrap. And thank you for the aids. I'm an arms dealer that only works the rebels, but I'll consider the circumstances an exception. Let's see. A burst laser? Probably not that great. Swarm. If given time to prepare, the swarm launcher can replicate multiple warheads. Requires two power, only seven second charge time. Shots per charge is one, but it charges up maximum shots. So if you wait for 21 seconds, for the cost of one missile, you can fire three. It also requires less power to operate, and apparently it has five shield piercing value. So if I'm willing to wait, this is actually pretty strong. And it requires less power, which makes it easier for me to uh, facilitate using this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We can get a lot of value if we do this. This could be pretty strong, and it would knock out systems really well. As opposed to... Let me take a quick look at the Pegasus again. Um, again, shield piercing of 5. 2 damage. Okay, so this fires off 4 damage worth for 20 seconds of charging. As opposed to 21... for three damage, so it's actually less damage. The advantage of this is if I'm desperate, I can fire it off prematurely just to like, let's say, oh crap, he's gonna target the big weapon, shoot a missile, I don't even care if we don't get full value out of it. That's the only advantage to this that I can see. I think I'm gonna escape the scrap. Oh, yeah, no, okay, right, yep, do not wanna leave these guys on board. Thank you for the warning. Uh, let's get to the exit. It's a cool idea. It really is, but I don't think it's going to pan out. All right, uh, we can sell some missiles for scrap. Heck yes. 
I mean, I, I like having some missiles, but I'll, I'll bet you we get more as time goes on, and I'm not going to use a Pegasus too often, so let's sell 15 for 45 more scrap. Beautimus. In that case, um, we can upgrade the teleporter? This is very expensive. I would like to upgrade the shields further, but what if we just did a quick upgrade to our teleporter? We could almost do it twice, and that would let me bounce around really aggressively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could also, let's say, upgrade our engines just for a little bit more evasion chance, which is not a bad idea. Improves my uh, ability to just make an emergency jump, but yeah, dodge 10 instead of 5. It's 5 more per uh, percent more evasion chance. For now, let's hold out on the crew teleporter. The fact that we heal every time we do this means that this actually increases my survivability and lets me react to situations quickly. So I think that's going to be pretty good. And then, I guess we will have to come back to the next sector in the next video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.